Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today it is the end of February. We are talking monthly favorites. I have some beauty favorites for you, I have some food slash weight loss favorites for you, and I actually have a couple of media favorites for you this month that have been completely life-changing. So stay tuned, we're gonna get into it right now. All right, let's get started with beauty favorites. So the first one I have is something that is not mine that I own personally, but it is something that a friend of mine let me borrow. And I was over at her house one night and she goes, wait, you're a beauty blogger type person. I have something you need to try. And she handed me this. This is the Conair Conair Infinity Pro. I had to look it up online. Secret 2.0. It is that curling iron that you've seen for a while now, I guess, where like it sucks the hair up and then um, curls your hair and you don't have to do any twisting or anything. The machine does it all for you. I am here to tell you, based on how my hair looks today and how my hair looked last week at Girls Night Out and the entirety of the weekend, that this sucker works. Now I went on the Ulta.com website to actually find out more about it because the one I found on Amazon did not have the cool interchangeable like heads, which this one does. She gave me one that had a head that is one and a quarter inches and one inch. And what I saw was it only had three and a half stars because a lot of people couldn't figure out how to use it. And quite frankly, I was a little bit afraid to use it myself, but I decided to give it the good old college try. And the secret is this, it takes time because you have to use small pieces of hair. But if you are patient enough with it, it works beautifully. And I thought I would show you how it works. So I have this on and plugged in and there's a little thing that says this side faces your head. So you put it in whoop, and then it'll beep at you. You hear it? And it tells you when it's done and boom! There is your curl. It is the coolest thing ever. And this is, like I said, today I used the one and a quarter inch barrel. I used the inch barrel for a lot tighter curls for Girls Night Out. Used some hairspray. My hair stayed glorious, not only through Friday night's activities, which involved like jumping around and being on stage and getting all hot and sweaty. I was also on stage for church Saturday and Sunday, and the curls lasted me all three days. Glorious, magnificent, wonderful. So today I wanted to try out the bigger barrel and I don't have any hairspray in my hair so I'm hoping for like loose wavy things. What's really cool about this is it has multiple heat settings, high, low, or off. It has multiple timing settings, so how many beeps it waits based on how long you want, how tight you want your curls, how long you want your hair in there. And it also has directional things. You can have all the curls going one direction all the curls going another direction, or my favorite feature is the A feature, which means alternating, which means every other curl will face a different direction. And you get this, and it's just... Oh. Dear friend Emily, thank you for lending this to me, but curse you because now I'm going to have to go spend the $100 and buy one, because this thing's cool. If you learn how to use it right, this thing is cool. The Con Air Infinity Pro, the one with the interchangeable heads is the Secret 2.0. I'll have that link down below as well as the one without the interchangeable heads. That one is cheaper, but you have fewer options. Let's stick with hair care, shall we? This is something I got from my salon recently. This is by the brand Loma, which is a natural brand, which is what my whole salon is. It's a very natural salon. And this was their less expensive brand that they brought in, and it turns out that I Love it. I'm currently using this brand's nourishing shampoo, nourishing conditioner, and this calming cream. It is anti-frizz and it is magnificent. My hair has never been so soft and I'm obsessed with it. It has a light hold, it has a glossy finish. I'm reading the back here. Works great on hands and body too. So that was the interesting thing. You know when you use a bunch of hair products and your hair get your your hands get greasy and weird and you have to wash them right away because you don't want that all over you. The ingredients in this thing, it's okay for you to like rub it in your hands and use it as a hand moisturizer when you're done. And my hands don't feel greasy or weird. It's awesome. It detangles and softens. It's wear, wearable nourishing treatment. It smells magnificent. I'm trying to figure out where's the scent. Apricot and mango. Apricot and mango, oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I use it after I get out of the shower, before I blow dry or air dry my hair. I'm just putting some more on now, because why not? And oh, yes, it smells so good. It's 
oh, it is a great product that makes my hair look real good. It blow dries straight real nice. My, my curls are super duper soft. It's all thanks to this product and that entire product line, quite frankly. So I'll have that link down below. I thought, I thought that I wouldn't be able to send you in the direction of this, but I wanted to favorite it anyway because I'm obsessed with it. Turns out Loma sells stuff on Amazon, like their actual brand sells stuff, not some third party seller. So Amazon is where you can go to get this if you don't have a salon that sells it for you, which is incredible. It's such a good product. All right, let's talk about skincare. I am using the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence, which skincare people don't, don't yell at me, but it's like a toner. I don't think it's exactly the same thing as a toner. It has different properties, but it is like a toner. It is the liquid you put on your face after you wash your face. Now, this is expensive stuff. This bottle is $68. I really wanted to try it because I heard so many rave reviews about it, and it's good stuff. Now, for that $68, do you see? Do you see where the bottle is? I have been using this twice a day, every day, since the middle of January. So about six weeks now, and this is how much I've used. So this $68 bottle is probably going to last me until June, at least. So I'm not mad about it. I'm really not, and now I kind of wish I bought the bigger size, which is even more, um, you get more for your money type of size from Sephora. But this product is wonderful. It has kombucha in it that is supposed to help brighten and tone and fix texture and tighten pores, and there's hyaluronic acid in it to help moisturize your skin all at the same time. The trick with this essence is, unlike toners where you put it on a cotton pad, don't put this on a cotton pad. You're going to waste a ton of product. All I do is I take it and I drop, 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 and there's like four or five drops in my hand. You move it around and it's like, it's water. It feels like water and you put that on your face, and four or five drops is more than enough, and because you're not putting it on a cotton pad, you're not wasting any product, which is super important when you're buying such high-end skincare. And so I put that on, let it sit for just a second, and then while my skin is still damp, I will put my serums on because the dampness of the essence actually helps the serums sink into your skin a little bit better. At least that's what I've heard. I'm no skincare expert, so I don't know for sure, but that is what I've read, so that is what I go by. And yeah, I love this stuff. It makes my skin feel so good. I really, I enjoy the smell. I absolutely enjoy the smell. It's kind of florally, so there must be rose or something in here. And I don't love rose, but I love the way that this smells. I don't know. This stuff is great, and so I thought it was worth a shout out. Along the same vein, my friends, I have my first ever fail to announce in a favorites video, and I thought that if I really came across something that I truly was like, no, this does not work, I should probably tell you about that too, because I don't want you to spend your money on stuff that doesn't work. The same time that I bought that kombucha facial treatment essence, I purchased this. This is by The Ordinary, which is a skincare brand that is very well known for being very effective and very inexpensive. And it was, in fact, very inexpensive. This bottle of serum from Sephora was $5.90. And I was really, really psyched about it because this product, I have the Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1% serum here, and this is supposed to help with acne, which, as you guys know, has been an ongoing struggle for me. Adult acne is just the worst and it is obliterating my skin and now that I'm having winter dry skin issues the acne is coming in a very weird way and it's making me crazy so I was like you know back when I tried that customized skincare thing I remember niacinamide being one of the ingredients and that product actually worked for me so why not try this I'm very optimistic the reviews were epic of course I read a lot of the positive reviews there were negative reviews but I read a lot like that, like hundreds and hundreds of reviews that swore by this product. So I decided to try it. And so I religiously, twice a day, used this product on my face. As you can tell, it's all the way down here. I started using it the exact same day I got the, the fresh stuff in the mail because they came in the same package. So I'm two thirds of the way done with this bottle. Guys, my face flipped the freak out flipped out. And if you've watched vlogs of mine recently, you might have noticed that, that my skin had not been looking cute. I have all sorts of crap that I'm healing from right over here. Like big, cystic, horrible, horrible acne. As, along with like little itty bitty ones, like little, little itty bitty little white bumps that I'm like, 
what is going on? And so at first I thought it was like a purging period because sometimes you get that period of a couple days to a week where your skin wigs out a little bit because you're doing something new and then it clears up and everything starts being effective. So I thought at first this is what it was doing. Five to six weeks later, my skin still looked consistently terrible, horrible, horrible. So the other day, I decided to hop on Sephora.com and actually go read the negative reviews. Every review that was negative talked about how badly their skin broke out because of this product. So I stopped using this product two days ago and my acne, like the big cystic ones, have already disappeared immensely. Immensely. I've changed nothing else except removing this product and my skin is clearing back up. So, dear ordinary niacinamide and zinc treatment that I was really praying would be what I needed to fix my face. Thank you for doing the exact opposite and failing miserably at your job. I will not be buying you again. Try it at your own risk. A lot of people loved it, but I'm one of those people who it just failed epically. Just so you know. I have a new Trader Joe's product, a favorite. This has only been in my life for less than a week and it is already on my favorites list because, oh my gosh, it might be my new favorite thing ever. This is the Trader Joe's Sprouted Wheat Sourdough Bread. Now I'm a bread fiend, I love bread. So the better bang for my points buck and nutritional buck I can get for bread that tastes like bread is a win in my book. And this product tastes like sourdough bread. It's soft and delicious, but it is hearty. It is hearty, hearty, hearty. It is exactly the same in points plus and smart points. One slice is two points, two slices is four points, which seems a little bit steep, yes. But lately, as you guys know, I have been eating three point slices of bread, like real bread as I've been calling it, like my brown berry and whatnot, really good bread. But I have not made a whole sandwich because six points for my bread is a little bit steep on a daily basis. Four points I can totally do. But look at the nutrition information on this bad boy. For one slice, 90 calories, no fat, 14 carbs, two of which are fiber, seven grams of protein. Seven. So if you make a sandwich with two slices of this, you're getting 14 grams of protein out of your bread. How awesome is that? So. This might be my new favorite thing at Trader Joe's for the time being because nothing else is new and exciting over there to me right now. At least nothing that I found and I was there just the other day. But this is great for somebody who likes bread and wants to make a whole sandwich. At least you're nutritionally getting your bang for your buck out of this product. All right, I'm going to favorite the thing that you're seeing all over Instagram with codes and blah, 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 blah. And I can't remember if I favorited, favorited these before, but I'm favoriting it again. This is a Built Bar. But this is not just any Bilt Bar. This is the brand new flavor Bilt Bar, Strawberry. And it's everything I've ever dreamed a protein bar would be. Quite frankly, not over exaggerating. So what's awesome about these bars, if you haven't seen them, I'm gonna bust one open because A, I'm hungry, and B, I was saving this for you. These Bilt Bars, if you haven't heard of them, what rock are you sleeping under? You haven't been on Instagram lately. They are chocolate covered, like real chocolate covered protein bars. And when you get them and you keep them at room temperature, they are the consistency of a chocolate covered marshmallow. That is the best way for me to say it. Like really chewy and kind of, kind of strange. I didn't love it until I refrigerated it. Mm, 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 mm. This is so good. So can you see the inside there? It's kind of like a, like it, marshmallow is the best way for me to say it. And this one's actually a little bit more marshmallow than normal because it's been out of the fridge for a while. I keep mine in the fridge and they're a little bit chewier, kind of like a taffy type thing. I don't know. Some people love these. Some people hate these. I think these are freaking fantastic. And I love Built Bars in general. There's not one flavor that I don't like, but there are flavors that I love compared to flavors that I just like. And my favorite flavors of Built Bars are weirdly the coconut. I don't like coconut flavored much. I love the coconut ones. And the strawberry is hands down, hands down my favorite. Mint also comes into a close second as well. They are, they're so good. There's real chocolate, so I feel like I'm eating a chocolate bar. Oh, and let me tell you about like the nutrition information. 110 calories, four grams of fat, 13 grams of fiber, only four sugars, two sugar alcohols of erythritol, six grams of fiber and 15 grams of protein. Three smart points and three points plus for something that feels like a candy bar. Boom, I love these. And now 
like everybody else on Instagram, I do have discount codes for the for you if you want to use them. For $3 off of their sample box, use the code DIVA3. And for 10% off an entire box, use just the code DIVA. And you will get 10% off your first full, full price box. And oh, I have three boxes in my fridge right now that I purchased with my own money. They don't send me stuff for free. I buy them and I'm going to keep buying them because I love them. Another thing that if you follow me on Instagram, you will already know I've been loving lately are these little packets by a company called WM Nutrition. And these are their pre-workout and their little drink mix in called Avantra Slim. Now the thing I have been raving about, the things you guys have been responding to, is my usage of Avantra Slim. And now I hate stuff with like slim in the name, but this stuff actually works. One of my favorite Instagrammers has been talking about this stuff a lot, so I trust her judgment and I decided to go ahead and try it. And this is an appetite suppression suppressant slash caffeine boost that is supposed to replace your cup of coffee. True story, I still drink my coffee in the morning. But it's really tasty, really, really tasty. You mix it in with water, which gets you another 12 ounces of water to drink the first thing in the morning or whenever it is you take this. And this actually works as an appetite suppressant. There is Slendessa or something like that in here, which is a potato protein. Who knew? I didn't know potatoes and protein went together. When I think of potato, I think starch. But it acts as an appetite suppressant. And I swear to you guys, this stuff actually works. It got me through my, my Shark Week, pre-Shark Week PMS time so good, so well. I stayed energized, I stayed pretty focused, and I didn't eat everything in my kitchen. It was magnificent. And so I did this twice a day just for PMS Week just to see what would happen. And it delivered. Now, I also am really loving the pre-workout, which is just a product, super simple. It has five essential amino acids to help you with your muscles and 100 milligrams of caffeine in it. That's all it is. It tastes like a pixie stick. I don't mix this with water. I rip the thing off. I dump it in my mouth. And it actually, the flavor, I'm currently using the berry one. I don't know what other flavors are available, but I always gravitate towards berry flavors. This tastes to me, this is going to sound so weird, but you know how like scents and everything are a big memory thing? This tastes to me like the first piece of makeup I ever purchased, which was a Lip Smackers Sponge on Sparkler in Raspberry. That's what this smells and tastes like. Weird, I know, but it's every time I take one, I'm like, oh, I'm flashing back to junior high school and it's real weird, but it's delicious. It tastes really good. It works great. It's been fueling me through some really intense workouts and I've been really enjoying this. So the WM Nutrition stuff in general, I have been loving. And if you want more information on that, you can head over to Instagram. I'm posting about it frequently and you can use code. This is not my, my code at all. Um, best 50, I think is the code that's going around. That'll get you 50% off. So check that out. You'll really, I, I think there's a lot of people who've been reaching out to me about it and they've all been really excited to try it. All right, two more favorites and they're my media favorites. First, I don't think I talked about this last month and I totally intended to. And if I did, I'm sorry for the repeat, but I watched on Amazon Prime, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and it was everything I needed a TV show to be. It is so stinking good. So good, so funny, but so well done. I love that it's a 1950s period piece. The costumes, oh, the costumes, don't even get me started. It's, I understand why it won a bunch of awards. I am so glad, my aunt and uncle actually recommended it to me. We happened to be at a, a family party and we were talking about TV shows and I'm like, oh, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is wonderful. And I was like, you know, I've heard that. So I turned it on. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I breezed through those two seasons that were available and I'm devastated that I have to wait for season three to come out until heaven only knows when. But if you haven't watched The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, I really recommend it. It's great for a laugh and it's just a good show. Now, I turn this over to you because I finished Marvelous Mrs. Maisel and I'm currently re-watching Friends for like the fourth time because I don't know what else to watch. I need TV show recommendations from Hulu, Netflix, or Amazon Prime that are funny. I want some uplifting stuff, guys. I know there's a lot of good dramatic television on right now, but I need something like Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Gilmore Girls, Friends. I need something that's just fun. So if you have any recommendations for me on TV shows like that, please leave them down below because I'm dying to watch something new. And then the last favorite I have is actually a book. I used Scribe and listened to it as an audiobook, but this was life-changing. 
and I'm not even exaggerating. And I've read this book once before and it wasn't life changing then, but it was this time. I've been spending a lot of time learning a little bit more about my personality type and instead of trying to change my natural tendencies, I've decided to figure out who the heck I am and then accept those tendencies and try and use them to my advantage instead of trying to change who I am at the core. The book I'm talking about is The Four Tendencies by Gretchen Rubin and it basically talks about how you can categorize any person into one of four different tendencies. The upholder, the obliger, the questioner, and the rebel. Everybody falls into one of these four categories and the first time I took her quiz I kind of knew what they all meant and so I'm that person that will try and sway quizzes to spit out the result that I want them to be. So finally the other day after taking an Enneagram test finally and figuring out what Enneagram number I am, which is number nine in case you're curious, let me know in the comments below what your Enneagram is, I decided to retake this test and be honest about my answers. Just be like, what is your gut instinct telling you? What do you actually do? Not what do you want to be doing? And I took the quiz and I'm an obliger. And then I re-listened to slash re-read the book, The Four Tendencies, and it all makes sense now. Everything in my life about reaching goals, accomplishing tasks, and getting things done all makes sense now. And it is thanks to me actually taking a hot minute and accepting my tendency, which is the obliger, which in a nutshell means I need external accountability to accomplish anything. Anything which is why I'm really good at being a housewife, keeping the house clean and making sure there's food for my husband to eat and everything because there's external accountability of my husband. I'm doing it for him, not for myself. I show up to my fitness classes because I have the external accountability of the people I go to class with and I ha feel this obligation to the instructor. I have a lot harder time when I'm on my own schedule and don't have to meet up with anybody at the gym and can go whenever I want. Those are the days I struggle to get out the door. It all made sense once I reread this book and truly embraced the tendency that I am. And now I'm trying to figure out what to do with that moving forward. And you will hear more about that in my March goals video that will be coming soon. But I highly recommend you pick up the book, The Four Tendencies by Gretchen Rubin and figure out what tendency you are. And because a lot of us here are striving to reach specific goals, it would be very, very good for you to know what your tendency is because then you can cater your action plan towards that tendency. So I highly, highly recommend that book. And there you go. Those are my favorites for the month of February. Let me know in the comments below what a couple of your favorite things from the past month were. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Take care. Happy March. It's almost spring. Hang in there and I will see you.